What's up guys, welcome to J-Life. Today, I am going to be talking about the uh, two air guns for beginners, coming up. So, the gun I want to talk about first is the Daisy Buck Red Rider. It is a very good gun, very reliable, uh, it's easy to use, and the majority of this is metal, so you're not gonna, you're not gonna dent it as easy because it's solid steel. I think it's steel. I don't know if it's metal or steel. But it's metal. It's a metal. And your safety is right here, uh, right behind the trigger. So you, you switch it to red. And whenever it's red, that means it's ready to fire. And um, the iron sights are very good. Uh, they are, like, very accurate. You can hit things from, like, a good distance and probably get around that target. So the rear iron sight and the front iron sight though these are very good it's very easy to use and this is a lever action uh, BB gun so what I used to do whenever I was little whenever I first got this um, I used to put it like this under my uh, shoulder and I used to pump it like this because it was hard for me to do um, and then if you're doing that a lot of times uh, it's gonna kinda hurt right here like the next morning but it's not gonna affect your day you're not gonna always be like ah oh, it hurts right here it's not gonna affect you that much and that's it for this rifle now let's get on to rifle number two so the next rifle I want to talk about is the Daisy Powerline A80 and the reason I have this tape here is because one of the screws got loose on this this right here that hooks on the scope I just don't want it wiggling around whenever I'm shooting that's why that tape is here it's just for me so, the Daisy Powerline 880 is a very good gun. Uh, it's it's very reliable, same as that one, but it's not. it doesn't have as much metal, so that means you're going to be able to probably break it if you're not taking care of it. So, that's, that's that. And uh, people don't like to use a scope. I don't know why. They say it's real blurry, but to me it's not. I don't know. I don't know if it's just my eyes or something. But it, it takes a lot of time deciding these scopes that are that come with it and some people say these scopes are very bad but I think the scope is very good in they say it's not very reliable and uh, it's like horrible and you could buy a better cheaper scope and it'll be better but I don't think that's true because it's a very good rifle the scope works very good and um, if you don't want to use a scope you can always take it off and use the iron sights yes this also has iron sights right here and right here and you can adjust these on like the the daisy buck red rider and the pump right here it goes out like this it's very it's very easy to use i just do it like this and i pump it two or three times uh depending where i am if i'm like close or my, if i'm shooting at close something close i don't want to shoot and then let the bb come back and ricochet and then come at, back at me really hard so i put three or four pumps that's good enough um and the on this the safety is in front of the trigger. It's not behind like the the other gun. It's right here. Switch it like this. And this one is also a bolt action. So this one, it goes right here. There's a BB chamber. You can put at least 50 BBs in here. You flip it down, you pour your BBs in there. So I can't flip it up. There we go. Okay. So that's that it holds 50 bb's um which is a lot of bb's especially if, if you're a person who likes to shoot a lot like me and the bolt you you rock it back put it like this so a bb can fall in there and the little bolt thing it's magnetic so it, it attracts the bb's um so that's good and the bb won't just like fall out that's why it's magnetic so yeah that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and like and subscribe. Bye guys.